Say Brakatea, Brakatea O'Shea, Brakatea, Brakatea O'Shea, Brakatea Hawa, Brakatea O'Shea. First and foremost, we want to give our praises and honor and glory to Yahweh, Bashem Yahushai, Bashem Rakakadash, double honor to the apostles and elders who rule well at Great Millstone, and a blessed sanitation to the Akiyams in the four on the earth, pushing the gospel and sincerity in church. Shalom. Yeah, this scene up and down in the island of Trinidad Tobago, you know, the Masi Sore, you know, owned by the, these, these, these devils, you know, our enemy, you know, right? This, they call them the Assyrians, but we know the so-called white man, the devil, right? They own these stores and they had a sale on harm, $50 a harm. And look, Jake's, look, the royal people, look, the prince, look, the prince of the power, look, Yasharalo, you know, all defiled. Yahweh Bashem Yahweh gonna put you wicked niggas to death, and you nigger woman, because the most I give straight commandment not to consume swine flesh, right? And the enemy. Our enemy keep 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 keeping you defiled because they know once you keep defiling, keep you defiled, you're gonna be destroyed by your power. Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, right? Um, I want to just read something quick, right? Let me get it. Just want to read something quick and then I go into the scriptures, right? I published an article. It said 13 reasons why you shouldn't eat. Um, let me just close this. Slack you, right? Right, let me just pull this up. There's the royal people. I look at their behavior. They behave like that beast. Right? It's a 13 reason why you shouldn't eat um, pork, right? It's a doctor all over the world agree that human consum consumption of pork is dangerous to their health. Right? Yet people all over the world con continue to eat pork in large quantities. He said, below are 13 reasons why you should cons continue continue giving up eating pork. And I was reasoning with her sister and she was reason and she was and she bring up this bring this to my attention. Actually, I see the video now. That couple of video well and she was telling me and I said, No, I think I'm gonna do something on it now. And she was telling me, I was saying, Y'all hey, this devil, this devil got pork and everything. And she said, Yeah, you know, is she gonna shop? She's check all the labels. Check the many words and see and a lot of these things got pork in it. This devil put pork in everything. Because you know once he keep you defiled, you're gonna be destroyed. Because he's an enemy. The so called white man study us. Yeah, yeah, there's 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 a tactic of war. And then we keep telling you 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 degenerate Israelite. You have enemies. You wanna love everybody, you wanna deed everybody, you talking about humanity and one human race. Y'all are a bunch of y'all are a bunch of retard. That's why the most I said my people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. But anyway, let me just go through this little article. I'm not gonna read everything, but just type in, in Google 13 reasons why I shouldn't eat, eat, eat pork, and this article gonna come up. Right? It's um a pig, right? He said a pig is a real garbage gut. Right? So what you that a pig is a scavenger that we was created for to clean up the earth. He's a scavenger, right? A pig is a real garbage gut. It will eat anything, including urine, um, excrem, excrement. When you go to the word excrement, right? It tell you it's, it's waste matter discharged from the bowel, feces, shit. That's where you niggas put in your system. That's why you niggas sick and can't be healed, right? He said dirt. He said decay animal flesh, maggot or decay vegetable. They will even eat the cancerous growth of other pig or animal that's why a lot of you are sick and you got cancer because your diet is wrong the bible give we a dietary law how are we supposed to eat but you nigga think you're wise more than the heavenly father that's why you are going to be destroyed right um it said the meat the meat and the fat of a pig absorb toxins like a sponge and we know our sponges absorb water he said their meat can be 30 times more toxic than beef. Right? Toxic than beef and venison. Salaki or venison. Venison is a is a deer and and the beef. We can eat beef and we can eat deer. I can't eat territory law. These are two clean animals. They eat what? They eat the herbs of the land. So we can eat that. Right? <coughs> it's um 
Uh, he said, when eating beef or venison, it takes eight to nine hours to digest the meat. So what little tox toxin are in the meat are slowly put into our system and can be filtered by the liver. But when pork is eaten, it takes only four hours to, di to digest the meat. And, right, he said, we thus get a much higher level of toxins within a, within a short time. Right? He said, unlike other animals, a pig does not sweat nor perspire. Perspiration is a mean by which toxins are removed from the body. And a pig don't sweat. So where the hell are you eating that for? Just keep following these wicked demonic paths, you're going to die. Right? Who could bring a clean thing out or unclean thing? Not one. Right? He says, since a pig does not sweat, the toxins remain within its body and in, and in the meat. Right? He said... Um, he said, pig and swine are so poisonous that you can hardly kill them with strychnine, and strychnine is a poisonous compound, right? Right, strychnine or other poison. So that you can't kill a pig with strychnine or other poison. He said, farmer will often pen up pig within the rattle, rattle, rattlesnake nest because the pig will eat the snake. And if it and if bitten, they will not be harmed by the venom. So where the hell are you eating that for? Right? Why are you eating that? It said when a pig is butcher, worm and insect take it flesh flesh sooner and faster than to other animals' flesh in a few days. The swine fill the fine the swine flesh is full of worms. Right? That's why you niggas die. You niggas, why you niggas be destroyed for the lack of knowledge. Right? It says, it says swine and pig have over a dozen parasites within them, such as tapeworm, fluke, worm, and strychnine. There is no safe temperature at which pork can be cooked to ensure that all these parasites, right? All these parasites, their cysts and egg will be kill right so hey you know you are you know you could read you could, you could go and get a just type just type in 13 reason why you shouldn't eat why you shouldn't eat swine and right there and you could read it right but hey you degenerate is right you are gonna die the most are gonna destroy you all right so let me just stop this here right what the, the prince of power are the prince of power, right? And the nigga woman at the front, right? She at the front. You get a good shot, right? Let me let me get let me get some records here. This is um. This is second Maccabees, right? Chapter six, verse eighteen. All right, and our our our, our 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 ancestors, right? Our ancestors they were put to death. They were put to death because they refused to defy the Lord Temple by eating swine flesh. They were put to death by the enemy, right? So we go into some of these accounts, right? You know, you Achaemenes got time. Is, hey, yeah, I can read this Second Maccabees, chapter six, the whole the whole chapter. The, 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 the young brothers who now come, they can read his, can read his account, right? And see what happened to our fourth parents. This is our history, right? It's a second Maccabees chapter 6 verse 18. It's a El, El, Elizar, one of the principal scribes, right? He said, and an aged man and of a well-favored countenance was constrained to open his mouth and to eat um, swine flesh. But he chose rather to die gloriously than to live stain with such abomination, spit it forth and came and came of his own accord according to the to torment. So hey, he chose to die than to defile the Lord Temple. And as you nigga don't understand, you defiling the Lord Temple. So he, he chose to die. Right? Let me get a quick one in First Corinthians chapter 3, verse 16. Know he not that he are the temple of Yahweh, 
and that the spirit of Yahweh dwelleth in you. If any man defile the temple of of Yahweh, him shall Yahweh destroy. For the temple of Yahweh is holy, separate from pig. It holy means separate from pig, and not supposed to eat pig, right? Which temple he are? So you Israelites, you Soka Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indian, you are the temple of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Yahweh is who the well ignorant God God, and Yahweh Shai is who the well ignorant God Jesus. Right? You you are we we are the temple of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. And he said, Don't eat no swine. You understand? He said, Don't eat no swine. You Israelites are rebellious. Right? Let me go to the next account. This is the next beautiful chapter to read too. Second Maccabees chapter 7, the whole chapter. Right? This is Second Maccabees chapter 7, verse 1. He said, It came to pass also that seven brethren with their mother were taken and con and compelled by the king and this king was a, this king was king Antioch which with the, the so-called white man the devil right king he said the king against the law to taste swine flesh and were tor and were tormented with scourge and whip but one of them that speak for us what would is thou ask or learn of us we are ready rather than to transgress the law of our father so let me go see what the law of our father let me go see that's why you Israelite you are sick and you can't be healed and you are on a lot of drugs you are a crackhead so you are run to this pharmacy you was set up by the soca white man right which is which 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 which, which, which pharmaceutical pill are the third leading kill in the world right that's why the most I say yeah my people are foolish right and be destroyed for lack of knowledge right so if we read what's the laws of our father this is leviticus chapter 11 verse 7 he said and the swine though he divided the hoof and be clothed footed yet chew it not the cub he is unclean unto you of their flesh shall he not eat and of and and their carcass shall he not touch they are unclean unto you so it unclean is abomination you understand so they they say they rather to die than to transgress the love of their father right right like these wicked demonic christians say pray just pray and bless right pray pray and bless yeah you are gonna be blessed with them missiles when when yahoo shall return and uh, when the famine come and uh, when the race war come and uh, when the pestilence come this way you are gonna be blessed with destruction because you are a bunch of degenerate right um this is job 14 and 4 who can bring a clean thing out of an unclean thing? Not one. So a pig is an unclean thing. You understand? A pig is an unclean thing. So let me go back to Second Maccabees chapter seven verse two. But one of them that speak for us said, "Thus, what wouldest thou ask or learn of us?" Right? Which is which? Which is Israelite man speaking here? We we are ready to die rather than to transgress the law of our father. He said, then the king, which is King Antiochus, the so called white man, the devil, being enraged, commanded Pan and, and Caldrum to be made hot. Which, he said, which, for with being heated, he, com he commanded to cut out the tongue of him that speaketh for us, and to cut off the utmost part of his body, which is his rod, and rest of, he said, the rest of his brethren and his mother look on. So hey, he was put to death, his, and his brethren were put to death, and his mother were put to death because they didn't eat swine flesh. They didn't eat the swine flesh because of abomination. Right? So you and you, you brothers get time, you younger brothers get time. Read this whole chapter. Right? They were put to death because they didn't eat swine flesh. Right? And we enemy know once we eat the swine flesh, we can be defiled and we can be destroyed. Let me read this, let me read this here quick. This is this is Judah chapter 5, verse 20. He said, Now therefore, my Lord and Governor, if there be any error in this people, mean the Israelite, any error, mean we transgressing the law, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shem, we worshiping idol, we eating swine flesh, we shedding innocent blood, right? Right? And etc. etc. Right? He said, Now he said, um, Judah chapter 5, verse 20. Now therefore, my Lord and Governor, if there be any error in this people and they sin against their power let us consider that this shall be their ruin and let us go up 
and we shall overcome them. So the so-called white man, no one say, I keep eating the swine. They're going to be your ruin. And Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh going to destroy you, Israelite. He does why he set up all these different religions. He no one say, I keep worshipping idols. Calling on Allah, calling on Jesus, calling on Selassie, calling on Ra, calling on Africa and all this madness. He know that you are going to be destroyed. He know that. Because the so-called white man study us. The so-called white man is our number one enemy and all these are the hidden nation. So they're defiling you Israelites. So that's why you are going to be that's why you are being destroyed every day. Go up in the medical center, go up in the hospital. Only you seen of the jakes. All kind of disease, all kind of all kind of illness and can't be healed. Because y'all are rebellious. Y'all are defiling the temple of the Lord. Alright? Let me close off with this one. This thing is just piss you off when you see it. You understand? Jake's just stiff naked. Killing yourself for fifty dollar. A fifty dollar harm. We you can spend thousands of dollars on medication and still die. Bunch of idiots. Alright? That's why two tours, that's why the most I that's why the most I can destroy two tours, two tours that you so can Negroes, Latins, and Native American in them. That's why the most I say yeah, I destroy for the lack of knowledge. Right? This is um Isaiah 66 verse 15. He said, For behold, the Lord Yahweh shall will come with his with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind to rend his anger with fury and his rebuke with flame of fire. For by fire and by his sword will the Lord Yahweh shall plead with all flesh and the slain of the Lord Yahweh shall be many. He said, They that sanctify themselves and purify themselves, this, this Christian, you know, who are highly and holy, right? Claiming they believe in the Bible, but eating swine flesh, celebrating Christmas, all these demonic pagan holiday, right? Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shem put you out to death. If you don't repent. For um, Isaiah 66, verse 17, he said, They that sanctify themselves and purify themselves in the garden behind one tree, in the midst eating swine flesh, and the abomination of the mouse shall be consumed together, said the Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. So you are going to be consumed. You are going to be consumed because you are defiling the Lord temple. So you are going to be, you are going to be destroyed. Right? This is uh, Isaiah 65 verse 2. I spread out my hands all the day unto a rebellious people. Right now the most I stretch, stretch out the hand to his prophets. Telling you, it's right, repent. Turn in from your wicked ways, repent. That's how the most I stretch out the hands to you. And tell you who he is. You are you are prince of the power. You are Yasharala. Right? You understand? I have stretched out my hands all day unto a rebellious people which walk in a way that was not good after their own thoughts. Yeah, you think you run in a store to buy to buy swine flesh with the enemy know that you're defiling your temple and he know that your power gonna destroy you. You are walking in a way that is not good. Get ready to get ready to celebrate Satanella, which is a demonic pagan holiday. Right? He said, a people that provoke me to anger continually to my face. You are provoking the most to anger continually to his face. That sacrifice in the garden and burn incense upon altar of brick, worshipping your idols. Jesus, Selassie, Allah, you name it, Ra. Africa, you know, you name it, Egyptology, you name it, right? He said, which remain among the, the grave and lodge in the monument, which eat swine flesh and brought abominable things in their vessel. You understand? Swine is abomination. Which say, stand by thyself, come not near me, for I am holier than thou. These are smoke in my nose, and a fire burn it all, and a fire that burn it all the day. So the most I said, hey, they sanctify the sun and the feel that they hold it and thou. So the most I gonna destroy y'all. The most I gonna destroy y'all. Right? Let me close off with this one. The most I gonna destroy you dumb niggas. Y'all are a bunch of dumb niggas.
this is this is second chronicles chapter 50 verse 13 that whosoever will not seek the lord the power of israel shall be put to death whether small or great whether man or woman you understand so hey take heed you israelite take heed repent stop from the swine flesh turn away from these demonic holidays that you are preparing to celebrate you understand turn away from these things that provoking the most high to anger you understand and with that almost let's say defiant i want to give all praises and honor and glory to yahweh baashem yahushai baashem raka kodash double honors to the apostles and elders who rule well a great stone and a blessed sanitation to the Akyums in the four county yard who pushing the gospel in sincerity and truth shalom